The kidneys are highly perfused organs that effectively and rapidly remove waste molecules and excess fluid. Filtration occurs within glomerular capillaries and forms urine. Worldwide, millions of people suffer from chronic kidney disease. This affects waste filtration and causes fluid retention, leading to around 2 million patients requiring hemodialysis. During hemodialysis, critical blood parameters such as hematocrit, relative blood volume, fluid removal by ultrafiltration, and oxygen saturation can be monitored to help limit common intradialytic symptoms such as dizziness, cramping, and vomiting. Removal of intravascular fluid during hemodialysis reduces blood volume, leading to an increase in the hematocrit. This causes a shift of interstitial fluid into the vascular space, known as plasma refill. As plasma refill occurs, blood volume increases and hematocrit decreases. Therefore, changes in blood volume and hematocrit can be used as indicators of effective hemodialysis. Crit line technology can continuously and non-invasively measure these parameters to limit intradialytic symptoms. During dialysis, a crit line sensor clip is attached to a blood chamber between the arterial bloodline and the dialyzer. Optics within the sensor clip can emit multiple wavelengths of light, illuminating the blood as it passes through the chamber. This allows measurement of hematocrit, percentage change in relative blood volume, and oxygen saturation. These measurements are displayed on a monitor and updated in real time throughout the treatment. Also displayed is the patient's percent change in relative blood volume represented as profile A, B, or C. These profiles monitor the relationship between the patient's plasma refill rate and the ultrafiltration rate. Profile A is represented as a flat or slightly positive slope. This indicates that the patient's rate of plasma refill is the same as, or slightly greater than, the rate of ultrafiltration, suggesting that the ultrafiltration rate may be increased without the risk of immediate intradialytic symptoms. Profile B is represented as gradual slope and has been targeted to find the best compromise between a high ultrafiltration rate and the prevention of intradialytic symptoms. Profile B indicates that the patient's plasma refill rate is slightly less than the rate of ultrafiltration and hemoconcentration of red blood cells is increasing. The ideal slope is not a fixed percentage of change in blood volume and can vary from patient to patient. Profile C is represented as a steep slope. This indicates a rapid decrease in blood volume and significantly higher hemoconcentration of red blood cells due to a high rate of ultrafiltration, bearing a higher risk of intradialytic symptoms, which include cramping, dizziness, and vomiting. Allowing clinicians to monitor blood volume continuously throughout a treatment and make appropriate clinical adjustments in real time, Critline technology can help provide patients a more effective dialysis treatment. Critline technology provides real-time clinically relevant parameters that help clinicians to optimize fluid removal, maximize ultrafiltration, and reduce the risk of intradialytic symptoms in dialysis patients.